The forum was hosted by the National Cultural Commission. It was aimed at giving the position of those in the cultural service, including artists and other cultural practitioners. Executive Director of National Cultural Commission, Dr. Jacob Simet, said it was a concern that despite attempts by Prime Minister Peter O'Neill and Sir Michael Samare, there was relentless effort in replacing the cultural artifacts. Director of the National Museum, Dr. Andrew Mowutu, said a museum is a place for treasures and not for removals. He said following an exchange of letters with the speaker, there was no follow-up dialogue. Those at today's forum expressed concerns, especially in the way that the cultural significance of the relics were not seriously considered. Since wars begin in the minds of men, it is in the minds of men that defenses of peace must be constructed. If images are felt to be ungodly and unimportant and disrupting the work of Parliament, where is this going to stop? Papadukini origins goes back 40,000 years. It touches the core of every Papadukini. When it comes to culture, every one of us, no matter how Christian you are, no matter how many degrees you have, you will always return back to your culture. Dr. Windowo said cultural re-education was needed for national leaders who make decisions for the people of the country. There was shared concern that the removal of artifacts from the parliament was just the beginning of cultural degradation and that the identity of Papua New Guinea is now at stake. Others suggested drastic actions such as boycotting the hosting of the Melanesian Festival of Arts and Culture, which will be hosted in Port Mosby next year. Delibagu, National MTV News.